We're back on our show, Springtime, just around the corner, and we're joined by City of Alexandria landscape architect Darren Green. He does outreach segments as a member of the uh, Alexandria uh, Garden Club, and he's going to touch on getting your yard ready for the springtime. Darren, welcome. Good to have you. And Thank we're going to also throw it out here. He has agreed to come on once a quarter, so now you'll have to come see us. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> I would say the plants are a little confused right now. Well, they are because uh, we had a we had a really wet spring last year, and then a terribly dry hot summer, uh, and then a wet fall, mm -hmm. and then we didn't have a winter, and then we did have one, and now we have winter and summer all in one day. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, everything's confused, and and so it's it's fixing to warm up. Yeah. Uh, and stay warm. And so uh, what what's going to happen is people's grass is going to green up and they're going to want to get out and start getting their grass in shape. Mm -hmm. and there we, I think we have some pictures that we can pop up. Uh, this is a picture of an unhealthy lawn. What happened here? Um, well, this is, and this is pretty typical this time of year. Mm -hmm. um, the winter weeds come up um, and um, the grass has probably uh, not been fertilized. Mm -hmm. uh, the pH may be off a little bit and so uh, uh, it probably hasn't been watered properly, but that's what you get if you don't take care of your lawn properly. It looks like Francis's yard she was talking yeah, earlier. I said, did you sneak into my uh, yard and, to take and, that picture? And like I say, that's pretty typical, yeah. especially uh -huh. this time of year. Um, the interesting thing is, though, that most of those broadleaf weeds uh -huh. uh, will disappear as soon as it gets hot. Mm -hmm. hmm. uh, and so uh, many times uh, people will go out and try to spray them with a chemical and then end up harming the grass. So, so maybe, you don't need to do that? No. Let maybe the best down. thing to do with broadleaf weeds oh. is just leave them. Okay. And, and Darren, I think we have a picture of here of the, the perfect lawn, which is my yard. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. And that's, that's really not that hard like to that. get. What, um, do we, what do we need to be doing right now as far as fertilizing? Well, it's really too early to fertilize. Okay. So, uh, and that's a big mistake people make is they fertilize too early. You really want to wait till the soil warms up to about mm. 60 degrees. Okay. So about tomato planting time. Mm -hmm. uh, and then get a soil test. If you, if, if you haven't done a soil test on your yard or if you feel like you have some fertility issues or a pH problem, mm -hmm. then take a take a soil sample and go to the Ag Center and get a test. Okay. They'll tell you exactly what kind of fertilizer to use and when to apply it. Okay. Uh, and that's key. Okay. Hmm. And then we're coming up on mowing time. Uh, mowing heights. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the biggest mistake people make is they scalp their grass. Mm -hmm. um, mow it too short. Mow it too short. Yeah. Um, no matter how short you cut your grass, it's going to grow how much it's going to grow in a week. Mm -hmm. So cutting it shorter does no good. What it what it does is it exposes the the roots of the grass to the sun hmm. and the heat and it also exposes the soil which guess what makes more weeds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so leave, the, the, the higher you can mow your grass the less weeds you're going to have the less you're going to have to water it. And the healthier your and grass the healthier, will be. Right. Mm -hmm. And it, to me it just looks better. Okay. I think we just showed uh, uh, just a minute ago a recipe for the uh, perfect lawn. You want right. to touch on this a little bit? Uh, there? Yeah. Um, so um, again, check the soil pH. Mm -hmm. um, that that you're going to have to do a soil test for, but you can take that to the ag center. Uh, fertilize at the correct time, which is uh, typically uh, around May, and then again in July. Mm -hmm. um, and you'll you'll want to get a soil test to uh, to confirm that. Uh, mowing at the proper height, uh, one inch for, for uh, Bermuda, two inch for Centipede, three inch for St. Augustine. Okay. Uh, if you're in doubt, as a default, just mow it high. Just mow it, yeah, high. Just mow it high. You're never going to miss it. Best good, good advice. Right. Good advice. Um, and then control weeds. Uh, if you get a weed problem, um, if you can, just pull them up. That's really mm -hmm. the best thing to do. Grab them by, um, the, by the grab roots. them by the hair of the head and pull them up. I want to ask you one question because a lot of people do it. What is it? There's a controversy on trimming crepe myrtle trees. Yes, a crepe murder. Yeah, crepe uh, murder. Crepe murder. That's right. Yes, um, that that's a common. Uh, Folks have already done it. Right. Yeah. Everyone's done it. They're bored in the winter. They don't have anything to do. <laughs> um, football season's over and yeah. so the men have to get out of the house and do something and they go murder their crepe murders. <laughs> right, right. Um, and there's there is no horticultural or scientific reason to do it other than just sheer boredom. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, yeah. It ruins the, the 
the sculptural quality of the tree and um, you know what there's no law against it, right. but we advise people not, <laughs> not to, to do, do it. it. Stop. Yeah. There Everybody should be a law stop. against it. Stop. Stop. Yes. Stop. Darren, thanks for coming. Great well, thank information. You. We'll see you next quarter. Work on my yard I'll be back. Yeah. More to come down home Louisiana, but first our community calendar.